Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty the Sultan sends a written message to His Majesty the King of Jordan relating to the bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries. The tax authority issues a decision to apply the distinctive mark system to excise goods according to a specific timetable that extends until February 2023. The period for submitting applications for candidacy for membership of municipal councils for the wilayas of Jabal al-Akhbar and Sinaw ends tomorrow. And the Telecommunications Authority, Regulatory Authority announces completion of repair process for nautical cable that affected the communication services in the Musendam Governorate. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq sent a written message to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al-Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan related to the brotherly relations between the two friendly countries and ways of enhancing them. The message was handed over by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad al Saidi, Foreign Minister when he was received by His Royal Highness Prince Faisal ibn al-Hussein, Deputy King at al Husseiniya Palace at the capital city of Jordan, Amman. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Ayman Safadi, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and expatriates in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, and His Excellency Sheikh Hilal bin Marhoun al-Ma'mari, Sultan of Oman's ambassador accredited to Jordan. The tax authority issued a decision to apply the distinctive mark system to excise goods according to a specific timetable that extends until February 2023. The decision comes in accordance with the United Selective, Unified Selective Tax Agreement for the Cooperation Council for the Arab States uh, of the Gulf, as it will track selective goods from the manufacturing stage to the point of consumption. The period for submitting applications for candidacy of municipal council membership for the third term for the Wilaya of Jabal al-Akhdar in the Governorate of al dakhiliya and the Wilaya of Sinaw in the Governorate of North al sharqiya will end tomorrow, Thursday at midnight, and it will not be possible to submit any applications for candidacy received after this date. The Ministry of Interior calls upon those wishing to run and who meet the conditions for candidacy to submit their applications quickly through the elections website. <coughs> the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority announced the end of the repair process for the nautical cable, the interruption of which had earlier affected communication services in the Musendam Governorate. The authority explained that the service in its full form will return gradually as the internet services in the Musendam Governorate were affected as a result of the cut in the submarine cable. Immediately after the malfunction occurred, the authority coordinated with the companies concerned with following up the telecommunications traffic through the network operation centers. The impacts of the extensions of low-pressure system advanced from India continue over a number of wilayas in the Sultanate of Oman. Wilayas of South Sharqiya Governorate witnessed moderate to heavy rains, which caused a number of wadis and tributaries to overflow. Here are some scenes of rainfalls in the wilayas of Ja'lan Bani Bu'ali and Ja'lan Bani Buhasan. <coughs> Omani Hajj or pilgrimage missions stressed on the preparedness of tents at Mina and Arafat with all the necessary requirements to serve the pilgrims in the sacred lands in Saudi Arabia. 
The premises of the Hajj mission witnessed a meeting attended by the Omani Hajj Company's owners, through which the tents were taken under the care of these companies. The tents are well equipped with all the safety standards, including medical services, prayer places, air conditioning, and areas of, for the comfort of the pilgrims. The work teams are also distributed to serve the pilgrims during the Hajj season. Governor of Dhufar completed all preparations to receive tourists from inside and outside the Sultanate of Oman during Kharif season 2022. The press conference revealed the new theme of Kharif season activities for this year, Kharif Dhufar, which will start from the July 15th in the wilayas of the Governor of Dhufar. The conference shed light on a package of activities which will be implemented as part of the touristic season Kharif Dhufar. The conference witnessed participation of various official bodies concerned with the re rendering services for Kharif season and tourists. Vice Admiral Abdullah bin Khamis al-Raisi, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces, accompanied by Air Vice Marshal Khamis bin Hamad al-Ghafri, Commander of Royal Air Force of Oman, Rear Admiral Saif bin Nasr al-Rahbi, Commander of Royal Navy of Oman, Major General Musallam bin Muhammad, Muhammad Ja'boub, Commander of the Sultan's Special Force, Air Vice Marshal Engineer Saleh bin Yahya Al-Maskari's Head of the Academy of Strategic and Defense Studies, and Major General Hamid bin Ahmed Skron, Commandant of National Defense College, witnessed at the premises of the Joint Command and Staff College the activities of Al-Hazm Drill, which is currently being implemented by the affiliates of the 35th course in the college. Al-Hazm drill started from 26th of June and will last until the 7th of July 2022. It comes within the general curricula of the course and aims to achieve the training goals that keep up with the requirements of the joint military operations. The Ministry of Labor organized tests at the Technical College to fill job vacancies in government establishments in the Governorate of Dhafar. During the second day test, the applicants will complete to occupy 21 jobs under temporary contracts. The, vac the vacancies are available in government units of the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning, and the Ministry of Social Development in Dhafar. The tests are conducted under the Youth Employment Initiative, SAHEM, which seeks to consolidate the principle of decentralization for the development of Omani governorates. The Sultanate of Oman and Brunei Darussalam explored business and investment opportunities available, incentives and means of promoting economic and business relations between the two countries. This came during an event organized by the Sultanate of Oman's embassy in Brunei Darussalam. The several days event, which coincides with the third meeting of the Oman Brunei Committee, included seminars on, on investment and education, as well as heritage and tourism exhibition. Still to come in our news bulletin. Eid al-Adha Habta in the Wilaya of Sur witnesses a great turnout from all community members. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Oman Development Bank concluded the seventh edition of the annual Ijada competition by honoring the excelled branches. The ceremony was sponsored by or sponsored by His Excellency Dr. Saud bin Hamoud Al Habsi, Minister of Agricultural and Fisheries Wealth and Water Resources. 
to develop the national economy and provide the necessary technical and financial support to entrepreneurs, especially small, medium and micro enterprises, the Oman Development Bank concluded the seventh edition of the Excellence Competition by honoring the excelled branches that achieved the highest positions in the competition. The purpose of this uh, uh, competition is to enhance the overall performance of the uh, bank. This is one of our tools to ensure that the uh, end users get uh, uh, the right service and the quality of service that the uh, bank provides. We uh, ensure that this competition uh, has the criteria which appreciates the uh, good doing uh, staff as well as the uh, departments and the branches all over the Sultanate. Uh, as I have uh, said earlier, we would like to uh, improve the criteria of, of, of this uh, competition in order to expand uh, the uh, audience of, of this competition and we ensure that at the end of the day that the service that the bank provides is as high as possible and deserve it, the uh, partners uh, of, of Oman Development Bank. The employees and the administrative divisions of the bank competed in the competition according to several criteria, most notably gaining customer satisfaction and conducting marketing activities and events in the governorates, in addition to other administrative and technical fields such as initiatives for developing work systems and improving performance in the institution. The annual proficiency competition comes within the framework of appreciating the efforts of the employees of the bank and encouraging them to exert more efforts in serving the strategic objectives of the bank. In fact, uh, this year and uh, this uh, edition of this competition has uh, a new element to be uh, evaluated, uh, which is the, the innovations and uh, what we call it the continuous improvement of the procedures that and processes that the bank is is is, is doing it actually in all his uh, uh, branches and also departments the Ijada competition highlights the bank's employees' skills and development proposals for work procedures, which aims to achieve the higher objectives of the bank, which is to provide financing services at the level of the aspirations of local investors to establish and develop their projects and to ensure the achievement of development goals in various economic sectors within the framework of the programs and indicators of the Oman 2040 vision, which can only be achieved through qualified and motivating cadres who work with passion and harmony under the slogan, We Grow Together. The Ministry of Education honored a number of distinguished students and supervisors who achieved advanced positions in foreign participations. The importance of this honoring came within the keenness of the Ministry of Education to encourage talents and students' achievements in various regional and international events. The honoring ceremony was presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Madi Havent Ahmed al-Shaybaniya, Minister of Education. During this month, the phase of approving performance for approved evaluation round continued for more than 170,000 employees. 50 government units of state's apparatus units covered in application of individual performance measurement and institutional excellence IJADA shall complete applying this system. 23 government units will be evaluated, the, will evaluate the actual achievement for the second round and planning for the third round. The other 27 government units of semi-annual evaluation round will approve the achieved performance of their employees' goals for the first half and upload their plans for the second half of the year. Muscat municipality confirmed the readiness of its slaughterhouses in Al Amrat and Seep in preparation for Eid al Abha. More details in the following report. In preparations for the blessed Eid al Abha, Muscat municipality completed all hygienic and technical readiness of its slaughterhouses in Al Amrat and Seep, including maintaining the electrical and mechanical devices 
as well as preparing the slaughter halls to cater for the high demand during this period. Muscat Municipal Slaughter House has been ready to welcome the people and the company and meat shop sector to cut here uh, by prepare maintenance uh, the all tech, uh, all machinery and technical needs also being prepared by veterinary to check the animals and everything. To ease the process for individuals, Muscat Municipality adopts a pre-reservation system to choose the livestock from the slaughterhouse's sheds, starting from the 9th of Dhul Hijjah until the second day of Eid al-Adha, while they can collect the meat starting from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. during the first three days of Eid from the refrigerators of the slaughterhouses. The veterinary team been working extra hours here to make sure that for the uh, meat inspection uh, in both sides, uh, anti-mortem or post-mortem inspection. Uh, it's been inspect the animal's life to be sure there is no transform, uh, transform uh, disease or anything like this between the people and the animal. And then they check the meat also after slaughtering to make sure the customer will going to get healthy, fresh meats. It is worth mentioning that local sheep, goats, camels and cows can be slaughtered at the abattoir on the first and second day of Eid from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and the meat can be collected during the same period. Muscat municipality has provided all necessary arrangements to ensure good quality of meat and smooth operations at the slaughterhouses. From a sheep slaughterhouse, Salah Bakhalfan al rahbi Moscow. Eid al-Adha Habta in the Wilaya of Sur witnesses a huge turnout with a variety of offered products and slight price fluctuations. More details in the following report. After stopping for two years, Eid al-Adha Habta is back in the Wilaya of Sur with a lot of joy and happiness. It is a traditional market that occurs at this time every year. A variety of livestock such as goats and cows are available in this traditional market, which usually people buy it to be as a sacrifice or adhiyah for Eid al-Adha. Huge number of sellers and buyers are attending this traditional gathering with slight price differences. Kids also take part in this market. Various products are available for them, such as toys and homemade food and sweets. They find this special event as a very important event for them to attend. The most interesting thing about this traditional market or Al Habta in South Al Sharqiya Governorate is that it takes place in different wilaya every single day at this time of the year, so that sellers and buyers can get the most out of this gathering by visiting different locations every day. Sultan bin Sif Sarai. From South Al Sharqiya Governorate, Wilaya of Sur. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty the Sultan sends a written message to His Majesty the King of Jordan relating to the bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries. The tax authority issues a decision to apply the distinctive mark system to excise goods according to a specific timetable that extends until February 2023. The period for submitting applications for candidacy for membership of municipal councils for the wilayas of Jabal al akhdar and Sinau ends tomorrow. And the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority announces completion of repair process for nautical cable that affected the communication services in the Musandam Governorate. With that, we come to the end of tonight's bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night and stay safe.